Hello people. Yes, he's coming. Hola, aloha, cha, salut, ni hao, namaste, ohayu, yagomasuma. Zdrasuche, privite, buna, jindubri, siastok. Hello, sin chao, yabosio teres, salu alakum, sasirka, marhaban, merhaba. Welcome, my name is Brunel, je m'appelle Brunel, me chiamo Brunel, me niazamu Brunel, me chiamo Brunel, me whatever, um, and also toilet Brunel. Yes, so, um, it is day two of the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Eyeshadow Palettes. Today, as per the title, we are going for the this one here, Marvelous Matte. It is an eyeshadow palette with just matte shades. They are super bright. They are definitely, I'm out of my comfort zone here. If I can get the blooming thing open, because I'm trying here, <laughs> it's not working. Um, yeah, so it's got some super bright shades here. A voila. And they're all matte. And if you are interested in the um, how they swatch, I did a swatch video just for the swatches, uh, which will be linked at the end of this video. So if you want to check that out, wait until the end. <laughs> I don't want you to leave now, do I? So that's what we're going to do. And I thought about the, uh, the look I'm going for, and uh, you won't be surprised to find out what I'm going for, but at least it will be super bright. We are going to use this shade here. We are going to use this shade here. We are going to use that shade here, I think. Um, I'm not sure, but this one we'll start, we shall see. We are definitely using this shade here. And we are also going to use these two and also that one. <laughs> Bright. And I've got to go out looking like a... Oh, God knows. I have no idea if it's going to work or not. So um, hopefully it works out. If it doesn't... Eh, <laughs> sorry. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Um, right, so I'm just going to pick a brush and I'm just going for a, first of all, a big fluffy brush. Um, this is one of the Morphe brushes. They're just random. It hasn't got a name on it, unfortunately. Um, so I can't really say which one it is. So I'm going to go first of all with this bright pink one in the corner. Um, and we are going to take it from there. And I'm just trying to find something with a mirror on it so I can apply that. Um, yes, well, as a base on my eyelids, I've got the um, NYX eye base already and I've got a little mark here, something that's stuck here oh, and I don't know whether that's going to affect my eyeshadow, hopefully it won't. So I'm just going to go in, ooh, one tap, I'm just going to go in with a couple of taps and then we're going to blend and I'm just going to, ooh. Okay, very pigmented. Now it's sort of actually clinging to the eye a bit, but I think that's actually because of um, me not actually, because what I normally do is mattify the area by using a brush that I've used with uh, for powder and just run it over the eye and I forgot to do that. So that's probably why it is sticking to it. But you can see the color is definitely buildable. Or I don't know whether this look is going to work out or not. Super happy with that. So I'm going to move on to the next shade, which is this one here at the bottom. And I'm going to apply that on the inner corner of the eye and sort of to halfway. And I'm using a Morphe E28 brush, which is less fluffy than the other one. Ooh, a couple of taps and already had enough color payoff. Wow. So I'm just going to sort of, I mean, you could use a kind of like a shading brush. So I'm using this because I'm being lazy. It's what's in front of me. So I'm just using that. That's why. So I'm just going to pack that onto my eyelid. <gasps> Look at that. Next one is this, and I'm going to use a BH Cosmetic um, brush number 103. And I'm just going to apply that shade on the outer corner of the eye. Ooh. And it's 
definitely a much darker shade, much deeper. It's so pigmented. So far it's looking a lot darker, but I am going to brighten it up. And I'm going back in with the E28 brush. No new products on it. I'm just trying to blend everything in very, very gently. Blowing out the outer corner. So that you can't see the, di the difference between the two shades. Between the lighter and darker shades. So I'm just blending that in. Also above my crease line. Or just slightly above the crease line. Going back in with the original brush that I had, I'm going to just super, super gently tap into this light pink shade here. I'm not going to get too much colour, or I'm not going to pick up too much colour. And I'm just going to go just at the very top and just blend that in very, very gently. Being really, really light. I tend not to you, um, you know, put um, highlighting shades at the top. I just don't do that. I don't like it. So, for me, uh, for me, whenever I've tried it, it's just made me look like a drag queen. Nothing wrong with that, but that's not what I'm going for. So, um, I'm just going to use the lighter shades just to kind of blow things out a bit. Um, yeah, so being very, very gentle. Going back in to the very first color I used. And I'm going to just apply that along the bottom of my waterline. Ooh. And I'm using the uh, BH Cosmetics brush. Probably not the best one, one number one or three. Using just an um, random angled brush, um, I'm just going to go back in and now I'm, what I'm going to do is take this shade here and just apply that along the inner part of my waterline. And I'm just literally going to pack that along the waterline. It's not showing that, so I need to pack that in place. Actually, I found this brush, which is more pointed, thank goodness for that. And this is a BH Cosmetic brush number 10. Um, and right, I would have liked the, for the purple to be a lot more intense but i think partly it's because obviously i put the other pink shade underneath otherwise the intensity would have been there but that's fine and the final shade i'm going to go with is this blue here if i don't dig into it blue and i'm just going to gently pack that in along my waterline on the outer side and i'm dropping everything here and hopefully that will show up and i've been poking my eye out as well so in between I've had the tears and I'm just trying to match the two so you can see the blue there. I'm just going to build that up and smoke things out a bit. I'm trying not to make a face where you go. <laughs> but hopefully this works out. Oh Lord, if it doesn't, well, we haven't got time to get changed. I need to pop out. Kiko have got a new... Um, makeup collection for their valentines and i just want to go and get a couple of things and test those out i haven't done a kiko makeup um you know um, tutorial or um review in the ages so i'm going to pop out and get that so i'm just going to try and blend the two shades together all right so i'm just going to go and finish off the rest of my face off camera and then uh we'll so shall see the finished look i'm not too sure but still putting the uh, blue that i wanted to put on the inner corners i think that might make it look a bit more muddy but i'll, I'll see how i feel about that so back in the mud all righty this is my face all done i've got my hat on my coat on i'm ready to go out i'm running late um 
would I recommend this eyeshadow palette absolutely it is pigmented it is very very soft at the you know it punches way above its weight I've, you know it's just and at the price point of four pounds I'm not gonna complain I've put a little bit of silver uh, from a different eyeshadow in the inner corner so I just felt that it needed something it turned out a lot more smoky than I was actually expecting or intended at all um, and I will be using it again with using the greens and the yellows as well to you know to go for a really super bright eyeshadow look um, but for now I am really really happy with the quality of the pigment um, yeah so I would definitely recommend it hands down um, and as eyeshadows go eyeshadow palettes goes you got all out of the four clearly this one stands out above uh, all the others the others are more you know kind of like a pinkish uh, a nude and um, mauve and purples kind of hues um, attached to that whereas this one is more about the brighter greens or yellow the orange you know uh, one orange is in there as well but I would recommend it swatched really really beautifully I will link the swatches video at the end of this video as well if you are interested so you can have a look at that but I have no complaints whatsoever and I'm super super happy with it and I'll put you know I'll recommend it hands down as usual if you haven't already subscribed I would appreciate you subscribing I'd like to get to 2k uh, by March so not too far to go um, so yeah so help me out and if you have already subscribed thank you very much for having done so I appreciate it and I'll speak to everyone <laughs> I am uh, starving. I haven't had anything to eat all day so far and it's getting on two o'clock so I need to go make myself my smoothie, well, buy a smoothie and my salad and I'll be a happy bunny. Thank you everyone for watching and uh, on back and I'll see you tomorrow with another makeup tutorial as well.